Mama Duck out here quacking on OnlyFans. Mama Duck is out here quacking on OnlyFans. Lord have mercy. Talking about it or downing me or saying what they have to say. And I'm going to tell you just like this, what we just got through our way talking about. Oatmeal better than no meal, Sean. Because I got to take care of my family. Now, if you ain't subscribed to my OnlyFans, just shut up talking to me. If you're going to support it, hit my inbox, I'm going to send you the link. I wish I would have thought about this years ago. You said, how, you said what, how much in a week? 35. Damn. K. 30. <laughs> yo, 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 music lovers. This is Michael T. Porter. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, I hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Mama Duck is quacking on OnlyFans and making a lot of money. Now, this happened about a year ago, and I thought it was a joke. I didn't know if it was serious until I heard it out of her own mouth, and she got that receipt behind me. There's a receipt. I don't know if y'all can see. Mm, there's a receipt. Mm. Everybody want to talk about Mama Duck. She's too old to be uh, feeling sexy. She's too old. She be flashing them big chocolate nipples all over the internet, getting that uh, digital prostitution. But my issue, I, I said she's grown. She can do what she wants. She's feeling sexy. Uh, it's obvious people want to see her cocoa puff because people are subscribing. It is obvious there are some niggas out there that want to see Mama Duck's cocoa puff because she got subscribers. She got thirty five thousand in a week. So somebody's watching Mama Duck. Somebody's watching Mama Duck quack on OnlyFans, on OF. But my main concern is where happened, what happened to FBG Duck's money? Why is his mama struggling? This nigga, didn't that nigga get killed? Didn't he get crushed out there in um, the, rich, the rich part of downtown? They saying he was going shopping. I heard Chicago got some nice clothes. I heard Chicago is a beautiful city. I heard Chicago has a lot going on. They have good food. There's a lot to do. I heard it's beautiful. So he's in a beautiful part of Chicago. And meaning that he has the money to spend. So wait, you got money to spend on your clothes and jewelry, but you ain't put no money back for your mama? Knowing that the type of lifestyle that you live, my nigga, where is the life insurance? You could have got a million dollar life insurance. And that would that would have made sure y'all were straight. I don't know how much it would be a month. A million dollars. I don't know. Uh, 200, 300 a month. You ain't got 200, 300, 500 a month. Get that million dollars going. I don't know. But I know you could have got a, a, a couple of life insurances to make sure at least hold the family over. FB Duck. Uh, FB G Duck. Uh, I believe he was going to sign a, a big deal too. He was on the verge of signing a big deal. But I believe the nigga had money, probably not a whole bunch of money, but enough to, you know, get your life insurances going. You can uh, uh, have money uh, generating in your life insurance policies, get you a, a couple of policies, get some properties going so that money will come in and then have your money. Sound like him and his mom. If y'all from Chicago, was that 63rd? Um, 
If y'all from them, them neck of the woods, y'all let me know. I believe from what I'm seeing, FBG Duck and his mom was really close. Really, really close. That's I think that's all he knows. I don't think he grew up with his dad, if I'm not mistaken. I think his dad was in and out. I don't know if his dad passed, but him and his mom is close. And I heard that she lost five of her kids in Chicago. I don't even know how she's able to maintain. But you know what's crazy? Traumatic experiences. Once you get over the first one, not get over it, but once you're able to accept the first one and the second one, like, damn, I, I guess it becomes just a way of life. New Orleans is like that. When I first went to New Orleans, I saw thousands and thousands of t-shirts. It was it was the spookiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, so, so in California, we had, you know, t-shirts, RIP shirts, RIP shirts. Uh, I believe it was ever in all the hoods at that time, early 2000s, but... When I came to New Orleans, it was just this to see so many. We got our t-shirts in Sacramento. Mama passed, daddy passed. It's, it's more like family things, but these are all victims. Most of the victims were from uh, people that have been shot, people that have been crushed. So when I came to New Orleans, uh, just thousands, if not hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of t-shirts. On every on every street, everybody going to the store, t-shirt, go to the little liquor store. New Orleans have a hundreds and hundreds of convenience stores, liquor stores. Um little hole, I have a whole bunch of hole in the walls. New hole in the walls make a lot of money. So everywhere you went, you go to the park, everybody wearing t-shirts, 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 RIP t-shirts, everywhere. Jeez. Hundreds and hundreds, all these faces. I'm like, man. So for a mother to go through that, it won't, the reason I'm bringing up, bringing up all those t-shirts, it became a way of life. That's just what it is. The murder capital, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. The drama, it, you can feel it. When, when I first came to New Orleans, the second, not, not when I first came to New Orleans, but when I came to New Orleans as a young man, you can just feel it. No, no, wait. The first time I went as a teenager, you can feel it. When as soon as you hit New Orleans, it's hot, it's humid. The, ling the language is different. New Orleans is my second home. Shout out that mighty third. Shout out the whole city. Shout out the East, Holly Grove, Seven Water. Shout out New Orleans. You ratchet bastards, you. You can feel it. Hot. It's doom. Everyone's depressed. At the same time, the city will play tricks on your mind because everybody start partying. Oh, look at that. There's a second line. Round the corner, Mighty Gras. The, the city was just crazy. But Mama Duck... Maybe she just accepted it's the way of life to have five of her babies crushed in the city of Chicago. God damn. But FBG Duck's money. I'm trying to figure out where that money at. I got to get it. I got to know where it's at. And I'm wondering if will she probably will she probably will she making the money now? Is she can invest does she have enough money to investigate the labels? Because I'm pretty sure. They robbed FBG Duck because FBG Duck was a big name in Chicago. He's doing Vlad interviews. He's doing all type of interviews. He has a, a catalog. He has a nice catalog. Like I said, I believe he was pot to sign to a major or if not uh, indie to where he's independent, but he can still get inside and he can slide inside the industry get what he need to get from the uh, industry distribution deals all this stuff to have that money coming so he was on the verge of taking it to the next level but while he was on the verge he still had some money even if it's a hundred grand you can't flip that to make five really you don't need that much to get out of poverty all you need uh well i'll take that back it depends on your situation if you're a single man to really get out of poverty you're gonna need about 80k liquid you're gonna need about 80K. I mean, 80K is one lump sum. 80K, that's shoes, clothes, cars, and money for investment. Start you a little business or open up a franchise. Open up a, a couple of franchises. Um, now, now you're probably gonna need more than that. Open up a franchise like what? No, McDonald's is a what? A quarter mil? Let's just say uh, you want uh, just invest your money in stocks or something or real estate. You can get into real estate with 80K. You can get into real estate with 80K. You got you got to get with some people that's smart and flip that 80K. Oh, a nigga can do some damage. $80,000. And that's, here's the thing. $80,000, $100,000 is peanuts. 
a hundred thousand dollars a piece. We start talking about family, we start talking about expenses, we talk about traveling, we talking about funding your careers and paying people off, paying people who want to contribute to your dreams. What the hell happened to FBG Ducks money to where his mama gotta thought it up on OnlyFans? I'm getting kind of pissed, and now, now I'm actually thinking, I'm getting kind of pissed off. Where that nigga money at? And like I said, do you think, do y'all think uh, Mama Duck is going to use some of that money to investigate? She has to know her son has some money laying around there. And them labels, boy, they got them high-ranking, high-power lawyers. It's a dirty game. And then, and then I heard there was a life insurance on FBG Duck. They put these lavish uh, life insurance policies within uh, these rappers deal. So when they get clapped... The labels get all that money. So the labels get the the life insurance, the money from the life insurance. When the rappers get clapped, they get the royalties. They they have ownership of the songs. They own the masters. Like that, that's crazy. I wonder how much of his catalog that he owns solely because it, it does, it's not that hard. Like, like I said, if a man get eighty k, he can buy him a, a a studio. You get you a studio. Get some. Get all you need is about five people on your team. Uh, one for marketing, one for handling, uh, for the networking, uh, one to help you uh, record uh, with your creative ideas. The other one does the footwork, the road manager. Hey, uh, Arkansas, uh, they're opening up. They want somebody to do a show for them. How much they paying, discussing the prices. You got your digital, mar the marketing person, they handle uh, all this stuff, your social media, how to get your name out there. Get your little team. And FBG Duck, I believe he had a team, all them niggas out there that wasn't helping him. Where is FBG Duck's mom? Now I'm pissed off for the nigga. Where, the, where that nigga money at? Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about FBG Duck, Mama Duck? What y'all think about FBG Duck's mom, Mama Duck, spreading wide eagle on OnlyFans because she said she has to feed her family. And what y'all think happened to FBG Ducks money? 250 capital G. Rooted in music TV. I'm gone.